All right, so in this problem, uh, you can take a look at our denominators. I think we have a 2, a 3, and a 6. And uh, I'm going to use the lowest common denominator here, which is 6. Um, you can think of it as 6. You can think of it 2 times 3. If you wanted to use, um, that's an or. If you wanted to use like 6 times 3 times 2, you could. That would work too. I'm just doing these ones. So I'm going to multiply everything by 6. So this times 6, this times 6, this times 6. And notice I chose 6 because... Uh, all of these denominators go into it. So that divided by uh, that 2 is a 3. So I'm left with 3 times x minus 3. Plus that goes into there 2 times. 4x equals those cancel out, which is 5. So distribute that in there. Uh, 3x minus 9 plus 4x equals 5. Combine some like terms. 7x minus 9 equals 5. Keep going. Add 9 to both sides. Uh, so it looks like 7x then would be 9 plus 5 is uh, usually 14. It looks like it's 14. Divide everything by 7. And it looks like x equals 2. Let me check it. Plug it back in and see if it works. So 2 minus 3 over 2 plus 2 times 2 over 3 equals 5, 6. Uh, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, negative 1 half, uh, and then 4 thirds. And the question is, does that actually equal 5 sixths? Let's see, this is 8 sixths. This is negative 3 sixths. Oops, that's a 6. And that does, in fact, equal 5 sixths. So that one checks out.